This is Street Smart Sarge here, and I would like to thank you for tapping in to another one of our Virginia's Gangster Files. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to tap the bell to get all new notifications of all new content. Now, today's episode four is going to be about the Smalls Gang. The Smalls Gang was very wild and very active out here in these streets. Let's get down with the business. Yeah, I got a good one for everybody today. Yes, sir. The Smalls Gang. Three. It's about three brothers who go all out. All the way from uh, St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands, to Georgia, to the Hampton Roads area. I'm telling you, these boys, they were known for a lot of, you know, gun battles. The Smalls Gang. Roberto Smalls, Mitchell Smalls, and Eugene Smalls. Both, all brothers was a part of an international drug smuggling ring called the Island Boys. They had the pipeline coming in from St. Thomas to Georgia to Hampton Roads. They were getting money. I'm talking about real money. Because the price up on that, getting it from where they were getting it from, is like triple. So yeah, they was making a lot of cash, a lot of money fast too. Now the indictment deals with only two years, and that's from July 1994 to June 12, 1996. And I will explain about, I will talk about that also later on in the story. The small gang had a long history of smuggling cocaine and crack cocaine. Since the 80s, like since 1989, they've been doing this. So seven years, they've been, you know, making this money, killing them. Man, that's a lot of bread. Scratch, scroll of paper. You feel me? The activities were uncovered during a joint investigation by Customs Service and Virginia Beach Police Department. The brothers, which are natives, like I said, of St. Thomas, with family connections in Hampton Roads. What they would do is they would allegedly recruit mules or carriers and use commercial airlines, express mail services, and expensive vehicles to get the drugs into and around Hampton Roads. Drug profits allow them to buy a $94,492 home in out Bridgewater Arch in the Bayside of Virginia Beach. Also purchasing $33,000 in cash Chevrolet Suburban. They lived in a very nice neighborhood in Virginia Beach. The indictment alleges the drug gang wired money back and forth from the Virgin Islands to operate the drug enterprise. Move weapons around Hampton Roads and sold cocaine throughout the area. Now the Island Boys, like I said before, want nobody to be played with. They have had shootouts at the shootouts with the pol- with the Virgin, with the Royal Virgin Island Police Force. Um, one time they got into a shootout with the police force, and Inspector George got actually shot in the eye. You know, fuck the police is what they carried it. You know. You know, we got the guns and we got the money. So, get the fuck out of the way, police. That's how they carried it. So, this is all before coming to Virginia. So, they nobody knew about these guys like that. Except for, you know, unless you was 
dealing with nobody knew exactly you know these guys before they came to the United States so when the um, when the brother Roberto had been uh, charged of first degree murder and first degree with attempt to kill the smalls gangs they went in action they won't go on just sit there and let their brother go down who was a promising baseball athlete so what they did was they threatened the lives of the territorial judge the jurors the prosecution witness and the prosecutor during the murder trial then they threatened to blow up the alexander farley justice complex but neither brothers were ever charged for that you know they were never mixed up in that they were never charged for that but that's what they did. They went to. Yeah, they was willing to take shit to the extreme. And, you know, it wasn't the only time they got into it because Mitchell Smalls, he got mixed up with, uh, got mixed up with a U.S. Park, mixed it up with a U.S. Park Ranger over a ticket. Smalls, you know, they ticket to Smalls BMW and then ordered him to leave. The Smalls threatened the U.S. Ranger, told him the only thing that be removed from this park is your head. You know, they had, you know, they came across a lot of, a lot of, you know, um, what is it, war stories. You know, both Roberto and Eugene had been seriously wounded and drug related. Gun battles. Um, Roberto Smalls was a yeah. Roberto Smalls was wounded at a nightclub after seeing a rival in the club. So once he see the rival, the rival see him. There's beef. They know they don't like each other. They know they warn. They it's like he see the op. Then once he see him. He goes out to the parking lot to wait for them to, to come out the club. You know what I'm saying? So when they come out the club and he see him, he get in the truck. He creep out up on him. And then gets to shooting. Once they pull off down the start to pull off down the street, he gets to banging at him. Boom, 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 shooting at him. Shooting all into the truck, you know. Uh killing the killing the rival and wounding the passenger. So, of course, the police there. You know what they did? He shot him. Yes, he did. The moonlighting cop shot Roberto, wounded him. Roberto was was forced his way up into an apartment, telling the people to call the police, call the police. But that never happened. That's what the that's what the defendant that's what the actual person said at his case or his trial. And they also said that the um, there was no person, there was nobody shooting, returning fire from that car. That's why he was charged with first degree murder and first degree attempt to kill. So, you know, you could be a gangster if you want to. You know, he was a promising baseball player, and you know he had to do 15 years for murder. So, could play baseball. And Eugene Smalls, he was shot temporarily paralyzed. Now, Eugene can only walk with a cane. The Small Brothers were gangsters. And I mean with a capital G. The operation was infiltrated by a sucker named Eddie McNair. The Virginia Beach Police Department got to him and flipped him. He taped conversations of buys. He also agreed to video recording buys of kilos on different times during the investigation from July 94 to June 1996. He wasn't the only reason, but real damage into Eugene's defense. Miss Martin was a carrier who was arrested in St. Thomas trying to bring back a kilo for $1,300.
$1,300. That's how much she made off of that one transaction. And she really didn't know any better. But if it was me, man, them boys would have been mad at me. They would probably been trying to kill my ass. I've been trying to charge their ass for all that shit. And then she get towed off by the Royal Virgin Island Police. And yes, y'all. After getting this information, the police... Um, started a investigation. The investigation just, you know, was, was international. And every time when they did, they ain't come up or they got popped off. You know, it just made them even harder. When they got to Virginia Beach, like I said, the Virginia Beach police flipped the boy, and and that made it hot for them. So, uh, what time? By the time they got to court on the charges, they already knew you know f- try to fight it but they already knew they was going to give them 90 years so unfortunately they got 90 years to Mitchell and, and Eugene and they're doing time now um, Robert Spall's dead come home and he's in okay this concludes another Virginia's Games of Files this is Street Small Sarge here I want to thank you again for tapping in Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell so you get all the new content. And for Green Typhoon Media, we like to say thank you. And we love you. Peace.